Well, they've asked me to do some stuff for this programme, and I have to say, on this particular event, I may be my most nervous. This is, in fact, the Autoglass Tour of Britain, 1989, the first rally to be run completely on unleaded fuel. Um, it consists of two main parts. One's the, uh, the road sections, which are basically, as it says, you're driving up a road. And then there's the rally sections, which are shorter, faster, rallying through forests and various bits and pieces. My job is actually that of navigator and timer. I have to make sense of uh, this little book here and the diagrams and hieroglyphics that are in it. And the driver is five times winner of the Le Mans 24 hour, Derek Bell. Derek, you're actually something, I suppose, of a stranger to rally driving, aren't you? Yes, I, I got as far as the water splash the first time in the RAC two years ago, and then last year completed the whole event on ice and snow, thanks to Mike Nicholson, my co-driver. So uh, you've got a lot to work up to today. <laughs> a little but, bit on the worried side. One thing we didn't talk about, in fact, of course, we do race on the race tracks. You mentioned only we went on the road and we went on the rally. We have got a nine or eight, eight or nine, should I say, uh, race tracks we're going to be running on having races. One of them will be in there today. Are you driving or am I driving on I the races? I think I'd let you, you drive for okay. that one, yes. I don't actually think I'm even in the car for those bits. So, <laughs> You'd be quite uh... relieved about that. <laughs> right, well, the time is now... Well, it's very close to our takeoff time, so if you'd like to leap into the car, we'd better get up to the, uh, up to the stage. I hope it starts. There you go. How many miles do we have to do overall on this 30 something? Uh, 3869. In how long? What time is it? Uh, average speed. Oh, we got average 29 miles on that. Well, we're, we just dropped below the average, I think. Didn't we? I think the result speaks for itself, really. I was very disappointed. Um, I thought, it's funny, when you don't drive well, you, well, not drive well, but when you don't get a decent result, you think, wow, I'm driving abominably badly. But I don't think it was really my fault. I think the combination of factors is that there were, you know, basically two very fast bits of track there, or in fact, three, linking the three or four corners up. And uh, this little car is, you know, is slightly underpowered, to put it mildly. And I thought we'd have the handling in the corners, which we didn't have, because we've got the car basically set up for the stages off-road. And the car is therefore very, very soft. Get this uh, new little Skoda to work properly, a bit by a bit. Um, we're now at the, uh, the start of the first special stage for me. It looks very dusty, and apparently the corners are quite tight. Due for the off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go!
mackerel. <laughs> Goodness me! Woo! There's half a house out there. We ran home. Did you see it? That's a big cutout, wasn't it? God, I hope that hasn't damaged anyone. Give them the card. Time card. yards or, or should I say tenths of a mile we've done or how many tenths of a mile we've got to go before we have to make a left or a right turn. Now that's not easy. Goodness me, what an experience. Different to you this morning, aren't you? <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, a bit more dishevelled, I have to say. <laughs> Derek, thank you very much indeed. Pleasure. That's the end of the first day. How do you think we did? And you've got to be absolutely honest here. I know that in that last stage, I took us up a, a right and lost us four seconds. And that four seconds took us out of the lead as the Cosworths, didn't it? That's right, yeah. It was one of those things. I mean, uh, if you'd had a couple more days out there and you're quite happy, if you want to come with me tomorrow, it'd be great. I got on very well with him. He was actually fantastic. He didn't, he wasn't, didn't show any sort of nerves. He wasn't frightened about anything. And really got in there and was reading the map, telling me what to do. And it was really, actually, you packed me with confidence. It was great. Well, thank you very much. I can't thank you enough. Thank you very much indeed. We'll be watching very, very closely. And, uh, and the very best of luck. Thank you. Kindly. Thanks for the experience. Thanks, Philip. Thank you. Enjoyed it. Good. <laughs> I'm going out tomorrow, I think. I'll have another go. <laughs>